Dear students, welcome to MSBTE online learning platform. We bring you the most relevant content in an attractive digital format. Myself, Professor Sagar Ekna Chinde, lecturer, Civil Engineering Department, Guru Gobind Singh Polytechnic, Nasik. So students, today we are going to study a very interesting module of building construction that is construction of substructures, which includes topic like classification of foundation and its application. So let us begin. The learning objectives are to propose the suitable type of foundation for the given structure with justification, to study the classification of foundation, to study the concept of copper dam. So what we will learn today, the contents of presentation are first foundation, classification of foundation, shallow foundation, deep foundation and last copper dam. Let us see the concept map for this topic. After the approval of building plan, Depending upon the bearing capacity of soil and structural load, we have to decide the type of foundation for structure. The foundation may be a shallow foundation or a deep foundation. The shallow foundation can be further classified as isolated, raft, combined and grillage, whereas the deep foundation can be classified as pile, cation or well foundation and thereafter the construction of superstructure. So what is foundation? Foundation or substructure is the lower portion of the building which is in direct contact with the ground to which the loads are transmitted. The soil which is located immediately below the base of foundation is called as subsoil or foundation soil. Let us consider this as an image of a structure and we have to discuss about this component of building that is foundation. So what are the functions of foundation? First, foundation serve the function of providing a level surface for the construction of superstructure. Foundation provide even distribution of load on ground. It reduces the load intensity to be within the safe bearing capacity of the soil. Foundation provide overall lateral stability for the structure. The soil moment effect is resisted and prevented by foundation. Also, the foundation provide safety to structure against undermining or scouring due to borrowing animals. Classification of foundation the foundation can be broadly classified in two main categories that is shallow foundation and deep foundation. The shallow foundation can be further classified as isolated footing, combined footing, raft footing and grillage footing whereas the deep foundation can be further classified as pile foundation, cation and well foundation. So we have to further discuss about all this classification of foundation in detail. First of all, shallow foundation. A shallow foundation can be defined as, according to Terzaghi, a foundation is shallow if its depth is equal to or less than its width. The shallow foundation can be further classified as isolated footing. The isolated or spread footing are those which spread the superimposed load of wall or column over a large area. In this image, we can see a single isolated footing for column and a wall footing. The isolated footing can be further classified according to shape as simple footing, step footing and slope footing. The side images are visible here. 
So the next type of foundation is combined footing. The spread footing which supports two or more column is called as combined footing. Such kind of combined footings are generally provided in following circumstances. First, when the column are very near to each other so that their footing overlaps or when the bearing capacity of soil is less. In this image, we can see a rectangular and a trapezoidal combined footing. Rectangular uh, combined footing is generally provided when load on two columns are equal, whereas trapezo uh, trapezoidal combined footing is provided when load on both the columns are unequal. Third type of shallow foundation is raft foundation. The raft or mat foundation is a combined footing that covers the entire area within a structure and support all the walls and columns. In this image, we can see a common raft foundation is provided for 9 columns. Such kind of raft foundation is generally provided in the following circumstances. First, a soil mass is compressible and may cause differential settlement or when the structure loads are heavy such that the spread footing could cover more than one half of the base area. The fourth type of shallow foundation is grillage foundation. The grillage foundation is a special type of isolated footing generally provided for heavy loaded steel stanchions that is steel columns. It is provided in the location where the bearing capacity of soil is poor. Such kind of grillage foundation is provided at the depth limited up to 1.5 meter. Now let us study about the deep foundation. A foundation is deep if its depth is much greater than its width. Such kind of deep foundation is used where the bearing capacity of soil is very low and where the loads is to be carried at the greater depth. Deep foundation can be further classified into following categories. First, pile foundation, cation and well foundation. So further we will discuss about this type of deep foundation in detail. First type of deep foundation is pile foundation. Pile foundation is that type of foundation in which the loads are taken to the low level by means of slender vertical members. The pile foundation are generally provided in the following circumstances. First, when the soil at shallow depth is compressible or having low bearing capacity, when soil excavation is not possible up to the desired depth due to poor soil condition, or when it is impossible to keep the foundation trench dry by pumping. Now we will see the classification of pile foundation. The pile foundation based on function can be classified as end bearing pile. The end bearing pile carries the load of structure up to the hard and firm strata below ground. Friction pile. The friction pile carries the load through skin friction. Third is compaction pile which is used for densification of loose granular soil. Next is the tension pile which is used to resist the uplift pressure in structures. Next is batter pile. They are generally provided at an inclination with the vertical. And last is sheet pile. The sheet piles are generally used as a retaining structure in ground as well as in water bodies. Now classification of pile based on the material used for pile construction are concrete pile. It may be a precast concrete pile or cast in situ concrete pile. Timber pile having low bearing capacity and made up of good quality timber. Steel pile and last is the composite pile. The composite pile can be made up of 
कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू और थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ पाइलिंग मटेरियल द सेकेंड टाइप ऑफ डीप फाउंडेशन इज कैशन फाउंडेशन अ कैशन फाउंडेशन इज अ प्री फेब्रिकेटेड हॉलो बॉक्स लाइक स्ट्रक्चर राउंड और रेक्टेंगुलर विच इज संक फ्रॉम द सर्फेस ऑफ आइदर लैंड और वॉटर टू सम डिजायर डेप एंड देन फिल्ड विथ कॉन्क्रीट दस फॉर्मिंग अ फाउंडेशन इट इज जनरली यूज एज अ फाउंडेशन फॉर कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ ब्रिज पियर एंड एब्यूटमेंट इन रिवर्स एंड एनी अदर वॉटर बॉडीज द कैशन फाउंडेशन कैन बी फर्दर क्लासिफाइड एज बॉक्स कैशन ओपन कैशन एंड न्यूमेटिक कैशन नाउ वी विल सी द टाइप ऑफ कैशन फाउंडेशन बॉक्स कैशन द बॉक्स कैशन इज जनरली ओपन एट द टॉप एंड क्लोज एट द बॉटम ओपन कैशन इज जनरली ओपन एट द टॉप एज वेल एज एट द बॉटम एंड द न्यूमेटिक कैशन इज जनरली क्लोज एट द टॉप एंड वेर एज इट इज ओपन एट द बॉटम Now the third type of deep foundation is well foundation. A well foundation, also called as an open cation, are the box-like structure, circular or rectangular, which are sunk from the surface of either land or water to some desired depth. Such kind of well foundation are hollow from inside, which may be filled with sand and are plugged at the bottom. they are much larger in diameter as compared to drill cation the well foundation can be used as a foundation for bridge in water bodies types of well foundation common well shape these are the common shape of well foundation first single circular twin circular dumbbell well double d twin hexagonal twin octagonal and rectangular depending upon the number of piers now we will see an interest, interesting concept of coffer dam a coffer dam is a temporary enclosure in the river lake etc or any other water bodies built around a working area for the purpose of excluding water during construction coffer dam is generally made up of earth material concrete steel sheet piling such kind of coffer dam are generally used for the construction of bridge pier and other structures which are built in water so students today we learn foundation and its functions classification of foundation used in construction of the building suitability of foundation for given structural load and soil bearing capacity and last concept of coffer dam thank you